beginning in fiscal year 21, the ACFT will be a record test. Scoring standards for the ACFT will be gender and age neutral. The execution of this event will begin with the command get set, at which point the tested soldier will step into the hex bar, bend down, and grasp the two sides of the hex bar with a closed grip. That is, the thumb is wrapped around the bar. At the command go, the soldier will rise in the upward movement phase. The soldier will return to the ground. The bumper plates will touch the ground. The soldier will repeat this until the weights have risen and come back to the ground three times. At the completion of the third repetition, the soldier will then let go of the weights. The second event of the ACFT is the standing power throw. At the command go, the soldier will perform as many preparatory movements as he or she would like and then throw the ball overhead. The next event of the ACFT is the hand release push-up. At the command get set, the soldier will lie in the prone position with chest, hips, and thighs on the ground. The feet will be together or at most a boot width apart. The hands will be no wider than the outside of the shoulders is the arm extension protocol. The arm extension protocol push-up is performed by lifting the hands and extending them outward 90 degrees from the body. The fourth event of the ACFT is the sprint drag carry. At the command get set, the soldier will be in the prone position behind the start line, not across the line at any body part. At the command go, the soldier will rise to the standing position and sprint to the turnaround point. One hand and one foot must touch on the line or over the line. The second lap of the SDC is the sled drag. The soldier will pull the sled backward. The entire sled must cross the 25 meter line before the soldier turns around and pulls back to the start lane. The sled must once again cross entirely at the start line. The lateral. After reaching the turnaround point, the soldier will touch one hand and one foot across the line and then turn around. The fourth lap of the SDC is the farmer's carry. The farmer's carry will be performed by grasping a pair of 40 pound kettlebells using a closed grip. At the 25 meter line, the soldier does not need to touch the ground with one hand, only to cross it with a foot. When the soldier sets the kettlebells down, they will be placed under control. Lap 5, a sprint. At the completion of the sprint, the soldier will touch one hand and one foot on or over the 25 meter line. The fifth event of the ACFT is the leg tuck. At the command get set, a soldier will assume an alternating grip with thumbs wrapped around the bar and arms fully extended. At the command go, time will begin. The soldier will bend the elbows any amount and touch knees to elbows, then return to the start position with arms fully extended in the down position.